Janet Jackson survives near-death experience achieving 70 LB post-baby weight loss. Janet Jackson has been stunning her fans with her success in restoring her baby body. Although Jackson has been flaunting her 70-pound weight loss on stage and on Instagram, the details of what she went through achieving her new figure only now have emerged. And according to Janet Strainer, the singer had a brush with death in slimming down. Janet Jackson's personal fitness trainer tells all. Even though Jackson made her weight loss look easy, Janet's personal fitness trainer Tony Martinez told Hollywood Life that the 51-year-old songstress went through a terrifying experience as she regained her baby body. Jackson's near-death drama took place as she was exercising to lose those annoying post-pregnancy pounds. Ever since she welcomed her precious baby, Jackson has been getting back on track when it comes to weight loss. Janet Strainer shared that the singer works extra hard when it comes sculpting her curvy body. Ramping up a workout program after welcoming her precious baby, Jackson even kept right on exercising even though she had a particularly terrifying fitness experience, revealed Martinez. Janet Jackson could have lost her life during a particularly intense post-baby workout earlier this year. Describing what it's like to put Janet through a workout, Tony recalled one of the wildest exercise sessions that he had with the singer. It could have had a much more terrifying ending than it did. Janet Jackson's scary experience while jogging? Jackson Strainer recalled the time that he and the songstress were in Atlanta jogging in the forest. Lightning suddenly struck near them, hitting a tree close to Janet and her trainer. Fortunately, Jackson acted fast, said Martinez. The lightning hit a tree, and Janet sprinted so fast back to the car I couldn't catch up to her. Tony called the singer's speed very deceptive. But Hollywood Life pointed out that although the tale might sound entertaining, Jackson just escaped the possibility of death from being struck by lightning. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has reported that an average of 51 people in the United States are struck by lightning each year, with 15 individuals dying from the experience in 2017. How Janet Jackson Achieved Rheumatic Weight Loss Typically, however, Janet and her trainer avoid any risks when it comes to her exercise routine. Tony also noted that he wanted her to be cautious in returning to her fitness plan after giving birth to her first baby. In January, the singer welcomed a son, Isa Almana. Although Jackson worked out with her trainer during her pregnancy, the 51-year-old gave herself a break after her son was born. During that rest break, Janet spent time with her baby and let her body recover. But once the rest period ended, Jackson returned to the gym more determined than before to get in shape. Calling Janet motivated and very dedicated, Tony also revealed just how much time the singer devotes to her workouts every week. Jackson has a ton of fun. Janet likes to work out 30 to 45 minutes five times a week. Staying active has helped Jackson to achieve her stunning figure. Martinez described her as so intense that he must repeatedly change her fitness program so that she can continue to progress. Her workouts include resistance bands, a Swiss ball, and core discs. When Janet stepped on the stage during her State of the World tour in Los Angeles last month, her body looked amazing. Only eight months had passed, however, since Jackson gave birth. As the Inquisitor reported, Janet also hopped on the celebrity weight loss diet bandwagon. She ate lean protein and vegetables, as well as going on a juice plan and so-called super cleanse weight loss program. The singer achieved her 70-pound weight loss with a phased approach, doing the juicing diet first and then going on the cleanse approach.